back to our channel. Today's video, I will be sharing with you everything that I have to prepare for my home birth. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley. I am expecting baby number three. This will be my first home birth and this will be my second unmedicated birth. So my, with my first, I had epidural. With my second, I didn't. I had him in a midwifery center, which that was vlogged, so I will link that down below. And then this time, I will be doing a home birth. So I'm so excited about this experience, and I've watched so many videos. I'm so prepared, I'm so ready. I'm actually really excited. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of people are afraid of birth but I did a lot of research and I follow a lot of great Instagram pages did a birth course and it's all about your mindset I'm here to share with you guys how I'm preparing or how I prepared for my home birth and everything that I have at my house to prepare as well as all the equipment that my midwife brought here and all that fun stuff. So if you guys have any questions about anything, you can always leave a comment down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe because there'll be more baby related videos coming soon. So let me show you guys what's on my home birth cart. So I will be having the baby in our living room. This is our living room. If you guys been here for a while, it's a pretty spacious living room. So this is why I wanna have the baby in the living room because I'm more comfortable here. A lot of people do it in their bedrooms, but I just feel more open, more space. I just feel more comfortable in our living room. So this is where everything, this is where the magic is going to happen. So over here, it looks like a lot, but it makes sense. So I bought this cart from Ikea. I really wanted a cart to just to organize stuff that I had to personally buy. So my midwife did give me a list of things that I should have at home already. And then there's also a birth kit that I had to purchase online um, that my midwife created. So it's through this website and then they ship it to you. So I'll show you guys all of that. So let's, let me show you what's in the birth cart first. One thing I love about this cart is that it's movable. So, oh, movable. Well, it has, it has wheels on it. So I love that this has wheels because like, in case like I'm on the couch or something like that and my midwife needs something on here so they can just roll it over there or whatever. So really love this and I know even after I give birth I'll probably use this like as you know to store the baby's diapers and stuff like that. So it has like a little you know station for the baby stuff. Alright so let's get into it. So first thing first is a bowl. So that was one of the things that I needed to buy. So I got this bowl just from Walmart. And this is to hold the placenta. I will be doing delayed cord clamping. Um, my midwife actually says she keeps it on, like keeps it connected until maybe an hour or, you know, as long as I want, which I really love about that. I know with my son, they, we did delayed cord clamping as well. I guess they just waited until it stopped pulsing. Next thing I needed was some trash bags. We wanted clear and black trash bags. So. Um, the black trash bags is more for garbage, you know, like anything to throw away, obviously. The clear one is for laundry. So when they came, the midwife assistant came just last week and she recommended to have clear trash bags too, just so, you know, to wash any laundry or um, the towels that I'll be using and stuff like that. So this would be for a laundry. Next, they asked for some Ziploc bags, which I think is for the placenta because I will be doing placenta encapsulations. For the placenta encapsulation, I'm gonna use the same person that did my last and she actually came to my house and did it in front of me, which is also on YouTube as well. I can link that down below, but I will definitely be recording that experience when she comes over and do the placenta encapsulation again, because I think it's really, really cool. Another thing that was on there on the list was a waterproof fitted uh, mattress cover. So I got a few different kinds. Um, I got this one, a queen. I'm planning on bringing my blow up mattress down here because I don't know you know, you, you have to plan for the unexpected when it comes to birth because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, as much as you plan to have a water birth, sometimes you might have to get out for something and you just deliver on the bed or something like that. So, um, I would feel more comfortable just having a blow-up mattress just in case, like, I don't want to, like, mess up my couch. So, I will be having a blow-up mattress down here as well as the birth tub. 
and that's why I got the queen um, waterproof mattress cover. Now I also got a king one, which the midwife assistant recommended to have on my mattress right now, just in case my water breaks in the middle of the night. She was like that once your water breaks, like it's hard, it's hard to get out amniotic fluid off the mattress. And I didn't think that far. I really just thought the mattress cover was just for like, you know, birthing or, you know, the fluids that come out during during labor and stuff but she's talking about like if my water breaks so I'm like oh I didn't think that far because you know you can't just like throw a mattress in the washing machine so I did get um two king mattress covers and this is why I got two because she said to um put the mattress cover on the mattress then put another fitted sheet like fix your bed and then after that put another mattress cover and then put another fitted sheet that you don't really care about. This makes it easier process that you don't have to like make your bed all over again. Um, so if my water does break in the middle of the night or you know if I am laboring upstairs and on my bed and it gets a little messy or whatever they can just rip off the messed up fitted sheet and that mattress cover and then the bed is all made. So like ready for me to go to sleep or whatever you know after the baby's born and stuff like that you know you gotta think ahead so i think that's really cool that she recommended that um just so you don't have to worry about like changing the sheets after you gave birth so it's already done other thing on this birth cart is a tarp so we had to get a tarp to cover up the whole living room floor um originally i thought we just needed something to put under the birth tub but the midwife assistant suggested to get a bigger one to cover the whole living room just in case like if i do get out the birth tub you know stuff comes out while you walk in so to just protect the whole floor so we got an 8 by 10 medium duty tarp this is from walmart so hopefully this is this will be big enough for the whole living room space other thing that's on here which was a part of the birth kit i had to order online is the birth pool liner so my midwife has a few different birth pools to choose from and i decided to get the birth pool in a box i don't have the birth pool right now because someone had it out so but i think that person that client had the baby already so i should be getting it probably tomorrow because i have a midwife appointment tomorrow so i'll probably pick it up then and then I'll have it in my house already, which is great. I don't have to worry about like, if I'm in labor and you know, she's 30 minutes away and I need the tub and stuff like that. So the birth tub will be here already. So you just sign it out, it's a birth tub rental. So you know, you have to pay for that through the midwife or you can buy your own, which is kind of around the same price. But I'm just like, why would I, I don't, this is my last baby so i don't want to have like extra stuff stored in the house if i'm not going to use it so i just rather just rent it through the midwife so this is the liner birth pool in the box this is the liner so i have to pay for that second level is two rolls of paper towels next are these honey sticks now these i had um when i was in labor with my second when i had my unmedicated birth and this really helps you you know like if you're feeling nauseous or just tired like this is a good pick me up a stick um the honey sticks they also recommended like electrolytes so i also have gatorade that's in my fridge already so those two really help then the last row of my birth cart is just like little stuff like this a baby book that i want to put like the baby's footprints in there and i have diapers and wipes and then i also have this basket right here of receiving blankets so i had other receiving blankets in here and my midwife assistant saw it she was like those are really nice she was like we want receiving blankets that like you don't really care about just in case like the baby has like a lot of vernix or just a lot of you know fluids on them so like they like to use um a nice receiving blanket that's soft for the baby so i just got a pack of like four from ross and i think it was like six dollars so they're still pretty cute but you know just like basic colors um, we just got gender neutral stuff. So if you guys are new here, we are not finding out the gender until the baby's here. So I got these cute little um, pajamas. So I got little sister and little brother. We already have a boy and a girl. That's our, the last baby. We're just like, why not wait and have a nice surprise? I also have another baby outfit, a newborn outfit 
as well in here. Other things I have is like nipple cream. You know, when you first start breastfeeding, you need to protect those nips. Other things I have are essential oils. So I will be bringing downstairs my diffuser. So during labor, essential oils really help calming you down and just getting you in that zen space. Some oils that I have right now, I have Peace and Calming by Young Living, which I really, really love. I've been smelling this during my pregnancy just to connect with the baby. I have a familiar scent that brings me peace and calm <laughs> calm literally what it's called smelling this during labor i know it's gonna put me back to that happy place for that peace and calming <laughs> during labor another oil that i have is lemon lemon is really good to smell if you're feeling nauseous during labor another one that is good is peppermint so i think i have a peppermint too so lemon really is helpful if you're nauseous and peppermint so have those ready my doula actually has all those oils too so I know when I was in labor with my son, I was feeling nauseous and it, I don't, like she just got the peppermint oil, she put on a cotton ball and I was smelling it and like it literally helped me, like I didn't have to throw up at all. Oils help. Other things that were on the list for me to buy are towels, so I just got five new towels. I could have used towels that we already had, but I'm just like, eh, I really want everything new if it's going to like touch the baby and stuff like that. So, got new towels, washed them and everything like that. Just got these from Walmart. And then I also got a whole bunch of washcloths. So, I think on her list was like five towels and like five or six washcloths. So, these washcloths are actually from Ikea. They had a pretty good deal. So, that is that. Other stuff that was on the list are snacks. When I was in labor with my son, I really wanted Snickers, so I had Snickers ready. And I know candy, like chocolate, they, they make me feel better whenever I just need a pick-me-up. So that is what I bought when my midwife assistant saw my snacks. Obviously, it's not that healthy. Um, but she was talking about more like protein, you know, like a protein shake or anything else that has like a lot of protein to like get your energy up and stuff like that. So um, although I have a lot of candy in my bag. I do have some meals in mind. That's a huge pro about having a home birth is that, you know, a family member that are here at your, during your birth, you know, just a part of your birth team can like make you a sandwich. So I know one thing, I, I can eat peanut butter, but you know, when you're, it depends on how far along you are in labor because like in the beginning stages, I was eating Snickers, but like, you know, after a while, I don't want to eat nothing. I ain't thinking about food. <laughs> So that's why I just got a few different pick-me-ups. So like some cookies, some goobers, some Reese's and Kit Kats, some Snickers, and these strawberry wafers. Um, yeah, I know, not the healthiest, but this pregnancy, I have a sweet tooth and I know those things will make me feel better. So obviously I'm not gonna eat all of them and it'll be great to snack on after the baby's here while I'm breastfeeding. So these will be put into use either way. Other things that were on the list that I have to have at home is a bottle of bleach and peroxide. Sounds kind of crazy, but yeah, gotta have these things. Other things I have around here is my breastfeeding pillow. I have my breast pumps here. Yeah, I have like two breast pumps here. I actually have three, depending on how I feel when the baby's born or even during labor, you know, sometimes contractions can stall or you know, not you're not progressing as fast enough. So pumping during labor can definitely help so that's why I have my breast pumps here just in case also have a small fan that I can plug up I know during labor with my last I was really hot I was like hot I drink so much water obviously I'll have my water cup and of course you can't have a home birth or a water birth without a hose this hose I got from Amazon I'll link it down below it had to be a certain type of hose not just like a hose that you use for your backyard it has to be a hose like drinking grade or something like that I'll I'll put it right here we got a 50 foot one only because we will be connecting it to our shower that is upstairs so usually people connect it to their faucets in the kitchen or you know obviously a lot of people do their home births in their bedroom so they just connect it that way to the shower um since i'm doing it in the living room and our faucets are like more upgraded there's not a way to like connect it so a 50 foot one reaches to the area where I want the pool all the way to upstairs to the shower 
And then we also had to get the piece, the attachment to the hose, which we got from Lowe's. So it's like two different pieces. Um, not sure how this works because my husband is the one who went to Lowe's and told them what's going on and what he needed. And I think he got some plumber's tape. So he knows how to do this. This is not my job when I'm in labor. That's his job. He got to set everything up. And then other things that I have, a bouncy ball and a peanut ball. The bouncy balls, obviously, I can start sitting on it now. Start, you know, bringing the baby more down and, you know, good during labor to lean over. And then the peanut ball, I actually didn't have a peanut ball with my last, I just learned about it, you know, just following people through Instagram and you know, how people are preparing for their home births or unmedicated births. I just got a peanut ball from Amazon. I'll link that down below. And it really helps with like resting during labor. So like if I wanted to like lay down on the bed and I can like lay with the peanut ball on my side and like my pelvis will still be open so like the baby can still work. Just a good resting spot. And you can do a lot of other positions, labor positions with the peanut ball as well. Great to have if you're having a home birth or just great to have during pregnancy just so you can do different things with it. Stretches, all that stuff. But also my doula, does have her own birthing balls as well which she will bring just in case but like i said i have my own i like to have it you know before labor and even after just to you know relax on so now we can get into the birth kit that my midwife left here this is like the case <laughs> it's like so big this is the case that they the kit that they left here um so like i said i had to order the birth kit online and then when the midwife assistant came, she unpacked it, make sure everything is in there, and then she just organized it in this bin right here. So this is how everything is organized. I don't want to mess up anything. I know they had everything at a certain spot. So one thing that did come with the birth kit is like a newborn hat. Like, look how cute. And then, of course, the suction. What is this? All-purpose enzyme cleaner. We got surgical sponges. We got the umbilical cord clamp. Exam gloves. Amniotic fluid detection device. This is, like, if I don't know if my water broke, I can, like, test myself. I guess I think if it changes a different color, that's how you know that your water broke. So this is, like, the first layer. And then under here is where they have all the under pads. Got the peri bottle. Then we also got the mesh underwear, which I already have my own, but this is nice to have just in case. It only came with two. I will show you what's in my other kits that are in the bathrooms to prepare for afterbirth. The ink for somebody to have the footprints. Also came with two cold packs, you know, like pads. So since I am giving birth in the living room, we have our half bathroom downstairs. So I kind of have like a whole setup in this bathroom since obviously i'm gonna give birth down here and i just want to have everything ready in this bathroom as well friend actually gifted this at our baby shower i had this on my baby registry and i really recommend it because i think it's so cute so it's the freedom mom postpartum kit and i love that it comes like literally in this caddy and it has like everything that you basically need i kind of did my own like separated some things to have some upstairs in the bathroom in our main bathroom things that comes with this kit perineal healing foam and then you got the cooling pad liners then right here is where you're supposed to put your peri bottle so this doesn't come with it but i did buy this with my last baby i really 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 love this peri bottle it helps so much postpartum when i had my second just because i love how it um how it's curved like this so when you spray up there like you don't have to worry about tilting it and all that other stuff how the other peri bottles are that they give you at the hospital so really recommend this then it came with underwear some mesh underwear and i really really like this too obviously i didn't wear them yet but just by the material like i know i'm going to love these they're really thick and very stretchy so I know this is going to like hold me in. This is like just the underwear and then you put like the pad under there. It also came with the instant cold therapy pad, which is what comes with the birth kit as well that my midwife brought. But this is just a freedom mom version. Pretty cool. So it gives you like a step by step on what to do. So you're supposed to like cleanse and then put the underwear, put this on the pad and then do the liner, the this liner right here. You put that on top of the pad 
and then put some of the foam on top. So it's like a whole little Subway sandwich deal to for your vagina. So I have a few of those underwears here. They're disposable. Other things I have in here are like this Tenna underwear, which is also good for postpartum if I don't feel like doing that whole thing or if I, you know, if I'm done with the cooling therapy, if I'm done with the cool pad, then I can just put these disposable underwear on by Tenna. I also have um, some regular pads in here as well. And then upstairs in the main bathroom, I have basically just a smaller smaller version of the thing downstairs. I just have more Tenna underwear, the cooling pads, so like the kit that the Freedom Mom postpartum kit actually came with four pads, so I just split it. Two downstairs, two up here, and then also had another pack of the Freedom Mom disposable underwear, so I just split it up here. And then I'm going to bring one of those Perry bottles from the midwife. I'm bringing it up here, so that will stay up here. I think in reality, I'm probably going to be spending most of my time downstairs. That's why I have the bigger kit downstairs. And the last is, of course, creating your birth space. So I got these curtain lights from Walmart. It was in the sales section. I think it was like $7. So it actually comes with a remote that you can like change the settings like if you want it to twinkle or I like it steady so I just have it like this. So I have one string of lights over here downstairs in the living room on this wall and then I have another one over here and then I'm planning on putting the birth tub right here in front of the fireplace. And then over here, I gotta clean up, I'll put the blow-up mattress, and then maybe we might have to cover the couch, depending how everything goes. So other ways I'm preparing myself for this home birth is the Christian Hypnobirthing app. I highly, highly recommend it. I actually did purchase their birth course, so I've been following that and also listening to their app. Their app is really, really good because it helps with meditation, positive affirmation, and you know, with the Bible verses and stuff like that. So I also do have headphones that I'm planning on wearing during labor, just so I can like cancel everybody out. And also made a music playlist. I made a music playlist with my last, but I was such in a different world that I didn't really hear the music, you know? I just like to have my options. So I have the app, the Cushy of No Birthing app, and then have my music and then of course the essential oils another thing that i bought for this birth is a skirt it's kind of like a bathing suit skirt i'll put a picture right here and it's just like a little wrap and just so like my butt is not all out i know with my last birth i had a kind of like a flat sheet was on me since it was in a middle free center like so that was around my waist kind of you know, just so like my butt wasn't all out. Uh, then again, like after a while, I didn't really care. But I think the little skirt would be very cool to have. And you know, just so I can walk around freely if I don't have anything under. And plus it's good for the water birth and stuff like that. So that's just something that I just got. But yeah, just preparing for the birth. I mean, it's just all about mindset when it comes to having any type of birth. You know, I feel like society always makes you think that birth is scary, birth is painful, it's traumatizing. And of course, women have traumatizing birth stories. You know, my first birth story with my first um, wasn't the best. I didn't have a great experience at the hospital. That's why I decided to go a more natural route with my second and this one. So I'm very happy about it. I feel really good. But it's all about filling your mind and your surroundings with just like positive energy, positive vibes, positive stories. So following pages such as like Christian hypnobirthing or pain-free birth. I'll list some right here of my favorites. I mentioned it in my last vlog, my 36 week baby watch vlog. I mentioned some accounts that have really helped me prepare for this labor and delivery at home. It just makes you feel more motivated and excited about birth. I have seen other home birth prep videos of you know people showing their stuff. And one thing I like to point out there is that, and even just like unmedicated birth vlogs or whatever, I've seen a lot of people always have a comb in their hand for like, it's called acupressure and stuff like that. And I know some people recommend that, but personally, and I talked to my midwife and I talked to my doula about it. And I'm just like, 
what is this thing with this comb? Because it's like the whole opposite of what you learn in class, of like birth classes when you try to prepare for labor and like just unmedi unmedicated stuff. So when you do have those classes, what they try to remind you is to relax and to have open palms. I know my my doula always said that even with my last birth, like she would make sure you have open palms because that means if you have your palms open, everything else will relax, you know, your jaw relax, your face relax. But if you're clenching a comb so tight, everything else is clenching and you're not letting your body do what it's supposed to do to relax, to drop this baby down and exit. I don't know. That's just me personally. I don't recommend that. So I'm not doing that because also I talked to my doula about it and she said that it was like an old school thing that people use combs but a lot of people squeeze so hard that they like literally injured themselves and started bleeding like that's how much they were squeezing so if you just remind yourself instead of squeezing just to open your palms while you're in, in labor and having contractions and stuff like that Although it is very difficult, but that's why you have a doula. You should always hire a doula and have a great birth team to remind you to have these open palms and to relax and, you know, have the right mindset. Then everything will flow, you know, literally you want everything to be relaxed and flow all the way down to your baby and let the baby exit. That is one thing I just want to put out there. I can say with my palms open with my last baby, my labor was only four hours. With my first, I had an epidural. So that slowed everything down. And that labor was 19 hours. So from 19 hours to having my unmedicated birth, you know, reminding myself to stay calm and stuff like that and relaxed, it was four hours. So we'll see how this labor goes with baby number three. I know every labor, every birth is different. So I have an open mind. If you have any questions at all about labor, pain relief, anything home birth related, just leave a comment down below. I believe that is everything. I know this video probably is kind of long, but I just want to put everything in this video of everything home birth prep. Keep following along our baby watch vlogs because you'll see week to week until the baby is born. I am currently 37 weeks. We'll see how many more baby watch videos we will have. I am pretty large. Yeah, pretty large <laughs> and baby is pretty low. Definitely been feeling a lot of pressure and stuff like that. So baby will be coming any day now. Hope this video was very helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys follow my personal Instagram page at Ashtastine. Give this video a thumbs up. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you guys subscribe and keep up with our baby videos. Until baby sees born. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. We found something about you. Something about you alive. About you alive.